There's a, a story in the Pioneer Press today. It's about a guy who was filming some police work. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. And had a uh, sheriff's deputy come over out of the blue in the middle of performing mm-hmm. this police work and confiscating his video camera. His camera. I'm Andrew Henderson. On October 30th, 2012, I had my camera taken away from me by the Ramsey County Sheriff's officers for filming in a public location. I grew up inner city, you know, you see things that police do and it sticks in your head. And as I've gotten older, I, I, I've become more proactive about it. I, I wouldn't call myself an activist by any means. I, I just do it when I, when I can. When I see something, I film something. I was charged with disorderly conduct and obstruction of justice. The whole time during the incident, I was sitting on a bench at least 30 feet away from the scene until Jackie Molnar came up and snatched the camera from my hand. Fortunately, I was recording audio on my cell phone, which captured part of the incident. The following audio is taken from a four-minute clip Andrew recorded. They are in order. Okay, and we'll take this for evidence, and then you can pass your audio. That's you just took, you just took my camera. What's your name? Am I, am I giving you my name if I'm not being detained? Well, I don't, I don't have to give you my name. You're, 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 you're taking my camera. I'm doing a lawful thing right now. Filming is, is legal. Okay, but if I end up on YouTube, I'm going to be upset. Can I get a receipt for that? Um, I'll give you my name and case number, yeah. That's about it. All right, you unlawfully took the video camera from me. Can I have your badge number? Note that Andrew is talking to Jackie Mulner's colleague, who, though he admitted he didn't claim that Andrew's filming was illegal, sat by and did nothing as his partner stole Andrew's property. 561. All right. Nothing I'm doing is illegal. I didn't say it was illegal. Huh? I didn't say it was illegal. No, no, you didn't. I know you didn't. You didn't say that it was illegal or anything. But it is legal, and you're 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 taking away my pri- your partner is taking away my private property. When I'm doing a legal act. I was well within my rights to film that interaction. The next day, Andrew went to the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office to retrieve his camera. I'm here to pick up property that was uh, taken from me last night. Yeah, so I understand that you had a complaint about a call that came in last night. Your device was taken? Yes, it was. What were the circumstances of it? Because we're not aware. We're I looking was for reports. There isn't any. Filming and Deputy Mulder. Mulder. Jackie, okay. Uh, took away my video camera and clear violation of my first amendment. Okay. Why did she take it? What were the circumstances? I was just sitting on a bench filming outside of my residence. Up until you showed up, I had no idea about this call or right. anything about it. Andrew learned that there wasn't even a report filed about his camera being taken. Two weeks later, Andrew returned and tried to get the police report about the incident. Instead, they told him to wait until court or things would be sorted out. It can get resolved yeah. uh, in court if it has to go that far. But, mm-hmm. you know, you can always talk to the, to the, to the city attorney about this and, and, and give them dismiss charges after like one year or something like that. Something that would, is, would be a reasonable um, agreement amongst all parties involved. Right. Well, I'm, I'm going to plead innocent. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't, I don't that, feel that. That is certainly yeah, I don't feel right. that I did anything wrong. I found out through the police report that Deputy Mulner not only tried to go through my camera, but also brought it home with her overnight before bringing it back to the sheriff's office. That alone is a clear violation of the chain of custody that she supposedly knows about, having worked for three decades as a Ramsey County Sheriff's Deputy. When Andrew finally did get his camera back, the footage was deleted. Here in Minnesota we have Data Practice Act requests. I filed a Data Practice Act request to the City of Little Canada to find out how much money has already been spent on my case. The total so far is $5,500. Kudos to Andrew for making his situation public and for being so thorough. He not only got coverage in the local print and radio media, but also on coplock.org, Photography is Not a Crime, and elsewhere. All that attention eventually brought him some legal help. I am grateful to be able to announce that the Minnesota American Civil Liberties Union has decided to take on my legal defense. My trial is scheduled for the week of the 18th of February, 2014 but it has been postponed in the past. I've had two different prosecutors, four different judges, and the case has lasted over a year. And we'll see if it happens this time. If you'd like to help me in this matter, I urge you to call the City of Little Canada, the prosecuting attorney, Kevin Beck, and Judge Allshaus, and voice your concern about the taxpayer's money being spent on this case. I have a clear conscience, and I'm at peace with my actions. I acted lawfully. First Amendment principles and federal case law established that a constitutional right. And while doing so, I did not act disorderly, nor did I obstruct a legal process. What reasonable expectation of privacy 
does a copper have in public? The answer is none. I encourage you all to keep filming. Even if you see someone else filming, help out. The content you capture might be their best witness. Better yet, get a streaming app.